The Philadelphia Phillies are in full rebuilding mode as they are not going to contend in 2016. The Phillies are huge long shots to win the 2016 World Series at odds of 250 to 1. They're at odds of 130 to 1 to take the National League pennant and at odds of 9 to 1 to take the National League East. The team won just 63 games a year ago and they may not win that many in 2016. Going 63 and 99, they went 37 and 44 at home and 26 and 55 on the road. Going 86, 64 and 12 on the over under. The Phillies didn't do anything in the offseason to improve their current roster as they are looking to the future to rebuild. Even if they get late leads this season, they may have a hard time hanging on to them as they sent closer Ken Giles to Houston for Mark Capel. The Phillies pitching staff could actually be decent as they have some young talent in the rotation. They're looking at Aaron Nola, Jeremy Hellickson, Brett Oberholzer, Charlie Morton, and Jared Eikhoff as their five starters. Nola is a former first round pick, Hellickson has shown signs of being very good, Oberholzer has had some moments, and Eikhoff could be a solid starter. The Phillies need Nola to perform like an ace, and they need Hellickson to start pitching like he did when he was Rookie of the Year. The pitching staff needs to be good because the lineup is very weak. The Phillies are still stuck with Ryan Howard in the middle of the lineup. The Phillies did get a breakout season a year ago from Michael Franco, and they have high hopes for Obudel Herrera, so all is not lost. The bad news is the rest of the lineup is awful. The team added Peter Bourgeois, but he is just another player who can't hit in a lineup full of those who are going to struggle. The rotation is serviceable and the lineup is weak, but the bullpen is just straight awful. The team has no proven closer as they are counting on David Hernandez. They have no proven setup men and they are looking at Luis Garcia, Jean-Marc Gomez and Elvis Araujo. Some players to watch for 2016. One of the only bright spots for the Phillies last year was the play of Michael Franco. He was excellent when he got into the lineup as he hit .280 and he was a threat on the bases with 19 steals. He was also a power threat as he hit 14 home runs and drove in 50 runs in just 80 games. He should have an even bigger season in 2016 if opponents will give him pitches to hit. The Phillies are expected to go with Aaron Nola as their number one starter and he has the ability to be a top of the line starting pitcher. He is a former first round pick and he showed glimpses of his ability last season. The Phillies need him to be more consistent and make more quality starts. It wasn't that long ago when Jeremy Hellickson was a major part of the Tampa Bay rotation. He hasn't pitched nearly as well in the past couple of years, but he still has a ton of ability and maybe he can regain his form with the Phillies with less pressure on him.